Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in hot. All right, guys, it's Hef with Rise, and we're here with, uh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Jonathan Wendelbert. And your restaurant is called uh, Lloyd. Was that, am I saying that right? You got it. What kind of food do you guys make? Mostly ramen. Uh, we dabble in fried chicken, too. And so you're, you're new to the region? Have people heard of you? Uh, they have not heard of me yet. I hail from down south. All right. So uh, I guess this is, this is uh, a restaurant that's going to be making food, uh, and it's going to be right here on Elmwood. So that'll do it. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a great day. All right, so we'll get serious. You know that this is Pete Cimino. You know that since 2010, They've been pushing the boundaries on food in our city from fighting for food trucks to have access to the streets for all the people who wanted to eat from them. And you know that brick and mortars have been popping up from Lloyd on Hurdle and out in Main Street in Williamsville. And after many years of teasing us and making us get all the way up to North Buffalo, it's time you guys are here. Time to bring it back home. Where? Where are we right now? We are at, appropriately, 716 Elmwood. Nice. Excellent. So it's the uh, former Cecilia spot, and we're standing on what is a gorgeous patio right well, here. It will be a gorgeous patio. Yeah, let's, let's hear about it. So I think this is going to be a really, really unique project for us, an opportunity to bring the brand full circle, um, whereas we started as a street vendor with a food truck, and then graduated to a few trucks and then eventually a brick and mortar and a few more brick and mortars. Now we want the opportunity to invite other vendors, food trucks, carts, et cetera, to come to our property so that we can have a synergy and offer a variety to a whole swath of people. That's awesome. And so we are sort of in one of the most dense spots of Elma Village here, yet it's been missing a thing or two. And what's, what's on top of bringing other vendors here, what sort of other things do you think we'll see out here and inside? Um, we're going to push the envelope and hopefully in working with the city and through planning, we're going to be able to get some live music out here, um, a sizable outdoor patio bar, fire pit, et cetera. Um, really just provide a place where people want to come and hang out. You know, this is a destination. It should be a destination. Damn right. Um, yeah, I would absolutely add that, you know, when you go to other cities, you walk streets like this and you have live music stop you in your tracks. You stop in, you enjoy the businesses around it because that creates a hub. Storefronts, people are playing on the sidewalks. I mean, this is the perfect place to do that. Yeah, so we are excited. What's your, what's your timeline looking like, Pete? Uh, right now, we've been given a date of uh, somewhere in the mid-June region. And I think, you know, right now we feel good about that. Uh, we'll see when construction starts, uh, if we uncover any major woes hopefully we'll be able to avoid that but plans are drawn for the most part and just looking to get started we're excited to get started this is like this is a big deal for us any ideas on a signature cocktail that might kick off the place <laughs> oh my goodness uh man we have not we have not explored that yet but i think we should invite you by for a tasting when we do we're gonna have ice cream on this patio from churn ice cream in some capacity, uh, maybe not a full-blown churn, but uh, we, we will have churn here in some form or another. Nice. All right, so the countdown to June begins, and we'll keep you posted. Hopefully get some uh, insider scoops on this food that they make called, uh, what, is it, what is it again? What do you guys make? The world's finest schnitzel. Yes, excellent. So thanks, Pete, Lloyd. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys soon in Elmwood Village. Cheers. Gary Dilbert.